Okay, so this from the last problem. Let us go to the next problem. I think all of you have copied this one. So we have E, ah, D. We have up to done up to C. So let us do D part. So this this D part says again reaction of Grignard reaction. Now you have CS3 MZI. Now this is treated with this compound. C double bond O and then here you have OH. Ah, uh, what will be the product in this case? This is like a tricky one. Now, what product do you think? You may be thinking that C minus can attack here and this can go open. Uh, if I attack this one, this will go up. You may be thinking something like this, but this will not happen. What is the why this will not happen? What will happen then? Think. Yeah. Some of you are right, basically. In this case, it will not act as a nucleophile. It will act as a acid-base reaction. It will act as a base because Grignard reagents are nucleophile as well as basic also. Now, this hydrogen is acidic in nature, so it will take H+. plus. So, you will have CH4+. plus. You will have here O- minus simply. O- minus. Are you getting? But if you do hydrolysis also, this is O- minus. If you do hydrolysis again, you will get product CH4 plus this compound. Here you will have ketone and here you will have OH. So after hydrolysis, you will get these two products. This initial product is in this and this is same. So basically, you have taken one hydrogen from oxygen and then in the next step, you have added one hydrogen from H3O plus. Let us discuss the next one, E. So this part says, so I think all of you have copied this one. So E part says we have two mole of Grignard reagent. So let us say, let me take the smaller Grignard. What is the point of taking the big MgCl? This reacts with, so I am taking two mole. So this compound has been taken in a two mole. And this compound is taken as a one mole, pH, CO, Cl. What will be the product? Let us write the product. In the first step you attack and then leave and the next step you attack. So first step nucleophilic acyl substitution and the second step is nucleophilic addition. Have you done this one? So let us try. You have to add two moles. That is important point here you have. So you have to use two moles. So you see what you will do is you have CS3, CS2 minus. So pH, CO, Cl. First step CH2 minus CH3. Now this lone pair will attack here. This can go open up, up. So you will have pH CO minus Cl CH2 CH3. Here you will have. Are you getting? Now next step substitution. This will come here. This is a good living. This can go back. So you will have pH CO CH2 CH3. So one mole of CH Grignard reagent has been used, CH2, CH3 minus one mole used. Now the next mole, sorry, next mole can also be used because this is a uh, carbonylic carbon again attack can possible. So this attacks here, so minus attacks here, this opens up. So now you will have, I think you are able to write, so pH CO minus, here you have CH2, CH3 and CH2, CH3. And now if you do hydrolysis, you will get alcohol. So finally, in this case, you are getting a, a tertiary alcohol, OH, CH2, CH3, CH2, CH3. So this is a 3 degree alcohol you are getting in this case. You are getting a lot. So you see, so you are using 2 mole of CH2, CH3. This is one and this one, the previous one is here. So uh, this is the first one and second one, uh, first one is here, you see in this case. This is one mole of C. This is acting as a nucleophile. This is also acting as a nucleophile. First step is substitution because you are removing Cl and adding this one. Second step is addition. You are not removing anything. You are simply adding. So first step is nucleophilic acylic substitution. And then second step is simply nucleophilic addition. So two mole you have added. You are getting. Uh, let us discuss F part. So what this says. Uh, this time we have pH MgBr. This is easy one. Everybody can do. This plus 
पीएच पीएच सीओ पीएच सो व्हाट विल बी द प्रोडक्ट यू थिंक सो इन दिस केस विल हैव पीएच माइनस सो यू हैव टू अटैक पीएच माइनस सो पीएच सीओ पीएच and now here you have ph minus things are easy in this case this goes up this goes uh this opens up and if you do hydrolysis h3o plus you also add you will have ph c ph ph oh so we will get a tertiary alcohol are you getting so let us copy this one now then we will discuss next one so all of you have copied this one i think so please keep copying fast and then we'll discuss the next problem so please keep copying